What's going on YouTube? This is Amina Z, and I want to bring you guys up to speed on some information I've learned uh, with Battlefield 4 regarding the suppression system and the map sizes for, for the game. Um, I was able to contact one of the devs and we had a discussion about the suppression system uh, first and I basically asked oh, well, why is it even in the game? Why, why do we even need the suppression system? And their, their take on it was number one they wanted to separate Battlefield from the rest. Um, they, they wanted to add something new, introduce something new that's going to give the player uh, a more tactical advantage and also uh, one thing I found interesting they wanted to allow the player to actually return fire suppress the enemy and be able to have a little bit more of a fighting chance on the uh, battlefield now this has actually happened to me um, quite a few times in battlefield 3 where i'm being fired upon and then i turn around and thing. i'll return fire and now we're both suppressed and then what will happen is the enemy will duck behind a rock and i'll duck behind a rock and now we have to rethink on how we're going to engage this encounter so that was kind of their direction for the suppression system um I, when i kind of touched upon the system in battlefield 3 he, he didn't go too much into it um i i i, I think where it was leading was it wasn't exactly perfect um it wasn't exactly the way they wanted it so they did rework it for Battlefield 4 and he touched upon that the support class will have a little bit more of the suppressing effect on an enemy because of the caliber of rounds um, that you're shooting downrange so which makes more sense you know the larger caliber rounds should offer more suppression effect which is great now it's still going to be there in general but is not as pronounced as in Battlefield 3 so this is good news and i'm very curious to see how this is going to play out and and work itself in battlefield 4. now i talked about some questions about the actual map sizes because when you look in spectator mode and you look here at this clip and the way the camera flies through the air and you see things going off at a distance and there's things going on to the right and and, and you know it just looks very large Okay, uh, you know, behind behind you on the camera, there's stuff going on. So it just looks huge. And I asked him um, about this, and he says, well, they're, they're going to introduce a lot larger sandbox-type maps, but they're also going to have areas of some close-quarter combat as well, as you can see in some of the, the buildings and some of the high-rises inside of there and from some of the clips that you guys have seen. Um, there's going to be some of those areas are just as large as Metro or Scene Crossing or Grand Bazaar and it's going to be just in one building and when you come out now you have this huge space and these street battles and you know this is very similar to Battlefield 2 where you had those street battles and it was large maps and then you had some close quarter situations so this was also you know very good news to hear um, especially to some hardcore Battlefield fans uh, like myself. Um, now, I did ask him, well, how is this going to happen, or how is it going to affect the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3? And basically what was told to me, and it's not confirmed, but based because of the 12-on-12 12 12, um, restrictions that the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 have, you know, you're still going to have the Levolution, you're still going to have the maps, but they're going to be scaled down slightly to kind of keep things in perspective to kind of keep things fresh and the battle going because since these maps are going to be a lot larger you know when you've only got 12 on 12 it's 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 just going to be just a lot of running around so this was also good news to the console players of the 360 and playstation 3 so i hope you found this information useful as I get more, I will continue to post up. I will let you guys know of the new uh, current and fresh stuff coming out. And I hope you please rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you on the battlefield. Take care.
Charlie. 